what if you want to customize your own wallpaper? The way that you can do that again is possibly head on over to Canva or PowerPoint or whatever tool it is that you like to create in and then save that file to your flash drive or your cloud. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my files so that I can change my wallpaper. And I'm going to access my flash drive because I have them saved there. And I went ahead and created a folder with my wallpapers. And I have a wallpaper example that I might set up and maybe change once a week for my students. So I'm going to double click on the image that I saved. Here it is. And um, I went ahead and saved the little spot so that when I apply this as wallpaper, the time will be present here. And the four apps that Mimeo has as a default will appear here as well. So if I want to set this as a wallpaper, I'm going to tap one time. And then I'm going to look on the bottom for the word settings. So if I tap on the word settings, notice over here on the right hand side, I can go ahead and choose set to wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and choose set to wallpaper. And here it says this picture will become the new wallpaper of the device. And I'll go ahead and put this, the word set. And now, when I head back home, you're going to notice that this is the wallpaper and the time is now embedded within the box for the template I created and same with these applications. So I can still navigate to various apps, for example, like the palette, and then head back home and what will always be present are possibly the tools that I've added for my students. In this case, I wanted to make sure that I added some student-friendly objectives, possibly some vocabulary for the week, but you can customize your wallpaper to meet the needs of your classroom or the theme that you have going on. Um, I highly recommend using a USB or your cloud drive in order to save your images so that you can customize your board.